Hey guys, so I realize I have a lot of young viewers on here, um, and I just remember when I was younger, you know, in the preteen ages, uh, kind of starting out in, with makeup and kind of starting to explore a little bit and play around with my mom's makeup and stuff like that and try to figure out, you know, how to apply stuff and what looks good and what doesn't and that kind of thing. So I figured this would be helpful for you guys um, just to talk about my thoughts and opinions on it since I've been there and done that and 23 now so I'm getting a little old but I still remember what it was like when I was that age and just starting out with makeup and kind of playing around with everything to see what I like and what I don't like. Um, so first of all I wanted to talk about the importance of skin care. Um, just because I used to have really bad acne when I was young. Um, I still kind of have acne, but it's subsided a lot. Um, but skin care is crucial when you're young, especially before you start to have problems. It's really good if you can keep it that way and prevent having acne or skin problems like that. So it's really important to wash your face morning and night um, religiously and no more than that usually because it could dry out your face but you want to wash every morning and every night. A um, good cleanser is Neutrogena Oil Free. They make one that comes in a cream and a foam and a liquid and a solid bar I believe. Um, so just whatever you prefer that's a really good one for oily and acne prone skin. A lot of dermatologists recommend that and I use that a lot when I was younger. So that's a really good one. If you don't really have any skin problems yet, then Cetaphil would be a really good cleanser and moisturizer for you. Um, they make a gentle formula and a regular one. Um, both are sold at the grocery store or the drugstore. And those are just really mild, um, good to use just to clean your face but not strip it of any moisture or anything. So it won't dry you out or break you out or anything. And a lot of dermatologists recommend Cetaphil as well. So that's a really good gentle cleanser. Um, also, even if you have oily skin, um, you want to moisturize every day after you cleanse. And Cetaphil, again, makes a good moisturizer for that. And also Neutrogena makes a lot of good moisturizers for oil-free, acne-prone skin. Um, some even have salicylic acid in them, which is good um, if you have a lot of acne and stuff to kind of dry that up, um, even though it's moisturizing. I, I know it may seem weird to say, okay, you want to moisturize if you have oily skin, but what happens is when you don't moisturize, even if you feel like you have oily skin and you break out and stuff, um, because your cleansers are drying out your skin so much with that salicylic acid and everything, it'll just totally strip your skin and your body will actually start producing more oil and sebum that'll clog your pores and just make your problem even worse. So it kind of like tries to fix the problem on its own, but it really ends up making it worse. So um, as crazy as that may sound, if you really need to be using a moisturizer, even if you have oily skin, just make sure it's oil-free and non-comedogenic, if I'm pronouncing that right. That means it won't clog your pores, and you should be good. Another thing that you need to take into consideration is how much time you're out in the sun and wearing an SPF daily, at least on your face, but you really should be wearing one all over your body. Um, if you're really fair like me and you're out in the sun more than like 15 minutes a day, then you should really be wearing about an SPF 30 or more. Um, if you're kind of, you know, tan easier, and um, then you should be using at least an SPF 15. So I would say nothing lower than an SPF 15 um, for every day, and 30 or better is even better. So just look for a good oil-free SPF. Again, Neutrogena makes a good one and a lot of other companies out there, drugstore and in department stores, make a good SPF. When you're young, I think it's really important to wear softer colors and everything because 
you're just glowing. You don't have any wrinkles and, you know, you are what everyone strives to be <laughs> when you're that age. You know, you don't want to fight with the beauty that you already have. So I think it's really important to pick softer colors um, to wear on your eyes and your face and your lips.